हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बिग फूडीज टूडे वी आर मेकिंग वेज मंचूरियन अ पॉपुलर एंड टेस्टी रेसिपी व्हिच इज रेलिश्ड बाय बोथ इंडियन फूड लवर्स एंड चाइनीज कुजीन लवर्स इट इज अ फ्यूजन ऑफ चाइनीज एंड इंडियन कुजीन इट्स अ परफेक्ट इंडो चाइनीज एपिटाइजर और स्नैक्स रेसिपी मेड विथ डीप फ्राइड वेजिटेबल बॉल्स इन अ स्पाइसी स्वीट एंड टैंगी मंचूरियन सॉस It is a perfect and crispy starter snack for a party. The manchurian recipe can be made in either a gravy or a dry form. Today we are making dry version of the recipe. For gravy based version, please refer to my other video. The first thing that comes to mind when we have to order a veg starter in a restaurant is veg manchurian. This super hot and spicy veg manchurian is almost available at all restaurants and street food stalls across India. You can see that how delicious and tempting it is looking with the delicious veggie balls coated in a spicy and tangy sauce. Friends, Big Foodies is a place for you to find interesting and delicious recipes which can be cooked with easily available ingredients found in your kitchen. Hence please take a moment to subscribe to Big Foodies by pressing the subscribe button to get more delicious recipes and never miss a video from Big Foodies and hit the bell icon to get notifications about new recipes. Also don't forget to leave a comment it really motivates me to keep exploring learning and improving my recipes. Without further delay now let's start the delicious recipe of veg manchurian. The ingredients required to make this super delicious treat for your family and friends are given on the screen. Hello friends, today we are cooking veg manchurian. It's a fusion of Indian and Chinese cuisine. A perfect and crispy Indo-Chinese appetizer or starter snack for a party made with deep fried vegetable balls. in a spicy sweet and tangy manchurian sauce friends to get simple easy and authentic recipes please subscribe to big foodies and like and share this video to make veg manchurian we have taken 3 cups of grated or finely chopped cabbage or patta gobhi about 1 cup of grated or finely chopped green bell pepper or capsicum or shimla mirch about 1 cup of grated carrot or gajar about 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste and 2 tablespoons of green chilies green chilies and ginger garlic paste you can add as per your taste also in the vegetables cabbage is a must in this recipe other vegetables you can add or remove as per your choice Now we need to mix all these vegetables together in a big bowl to start making the veg manchurian balls. First goes the grated cabbage, then green bell pepper or capsicum, then our colorful carrots. Now add ginger garlic paste and green chilies. Now mix all the vegetables nicely together with the spoon. Now add half cup of all-purpose flour or refined flour or maida in it. Add half cup of corn starch or arrowroot powder. You can easily replace corn starch with arrowroot powder in any recipe. Add about one fourth teaspoon of black pepper powder or kali mirch powder. Add two teaspoons of salt or as per your taste. Now add two teaspoons of soy sauce. or adjust it as per your taste you can adjust the flavors of spices and sauce as per your taste now mix everything together nicely to make a nice mixture with good binding to make the manchurian balls as you start mixing the vegetables you will notice that vegetables are releasing the water 
which is helping us in making a nice mixture. So we don't need to add any additional water here. Make sure you mix it well so that the flavors of soya sauce and spices blends well with the veggies. Now we will use our hands to make the manchurian balls. If you feel that the mixture is not binding properly, feel free to add more all-purpose flour or maida and cornstarch in it. However, make sure you don't add it too much, otherwise the manchurian balls won't taste good. Only add that much which is required for binding, as our manchurian balls should give nice crunch and taste of vegetables. As you can see, we are getting a good binding now and we can make all the veg manchurian balls. We should make small even sized balls. Because if you make big balls, it may not cook evenly from inside out when you cook it. And the raw flavor of all purpose flour in the balls will not taste good if balls remain uncooked. So friends, we have to deep fry the veg manchurian balls. To deep fry them, we have started heating oil in a broad pan on a medium flame. So by the time all of our manchurian balls are ready, the oil is nicely heated. Because for making the manchurian balls, the oil should be hot enough before frying, otherwise the balls may fall apart or break in the oil, which we really don't want. So friends, we have made the balls for the veg manchurian. Now let's deep fry them. So our oil is also heating for 10 minutes on a medium flame. Just before dropping the balls in oil, turn the flame to high because when you drop the manchurian balls in oil, it will cool the oil and because of the cool oil, the balls may fall apart or break in the oil. So after turning the flame to high, start dropping the manchurian balls one by one. High flame helps in forming a nice outer layer on the balls and once the outer layer of the manchurian balls is formed, we can reduce the flame to medium so that the balls can cook nicely from inside out. Fry them on a high flame for 2 minutes. After frying for 1 minute, flip the manchurian balls with a small spoon one by one so that the other side also forms a nice layer. If the oil is hot enough, the layer of the manchurian balls will form very easily and once the layer is formed, you can reduce the flame to medium so that the balls can cook evenly from inside out and raw flavor of the flour goes away. As our balls got a nice layer, we can reduce the flame to medium and we have to cook them until they are golden brown on all the sides. So you can see that how beautifully they are frying golden brown. While frying, keep flipping or turn them to other side so that all the sides of the balls turn golden brown. Now the manchurian balls are golden brown and crispy. We can take them out on an absorbent paper so that the excess oil of the manchurian balls can be absorbed. Similarly, we can deep fry all the leftover manchurian balls. Let me show you how our balls have turned out after frying. I am breaking one manchurian ball and you can see how delicious and tempting it is looking with all the colorful vegetables. And it is nicely and evenly cooked from inside out. Now we will make the gravy for veg manchurian. To fry the gravy for veg manchurian, we have taken one small sized finely chopped green bell paper or capsicum or shimla mitch, one small sized finely chopped onion, some green chilies, lots of finely chopped garlic cloves, some finely chopped spring onions which we will use for final garnishing and some finely chopped ginger. So these are the veggies we are using for making the gravy for veg manchurian. If you don't like any one of the veggies, you can skip it as per your choice. To make the sauce for the gravy, take a small bowl and add 2 tablespoons of tomato ketchup, 1 to 2 tablespoons of red chilli sauce as per your taste. Add about 2 tablespoons of soya sauce, about 1 teaspoon of vinegar. Now mix together all the sauces nicely. We are using dark variety of soya sauce here. I would recommend to use dark soya sauce as it gives a nice color and taste to veg manchurian. Also the quantity of sauces too, you can adjust as per your taste. If you prefer more sweetness, then add more tomato ketchup. 
For more spicy flavor, add more red chili sauce. For extra sourness, add more vinegar. And for more bright color, add more soya sauce. However, remember not to overdo on anything, otherwise it can spoil the flavor of the final gravy. We also need to prepare some cornstarch slurry to add into the final gravy. For making the slurry, we have taken 2 tablespoons of cornstarch in a small bowl. In this cornstarch, we are adding 1 fourth cup of water. Mix it together to make nice and smooth liquid paste without any lumps in it. We can easily replace cornstarch with the arrowroot powder here as it is a healthier replacement for cornstarch. Now our cornstarch slurry is ready. Let's make the gravy for veg manchurian. Gravy for veg manchurian should be fried on a high flame. To make the gravy we have heated a big pan on a high flame. Now add about 2 tablespoons of oil in it. Add finely chopped garlic. Finely chopped ginger, cook the ginger and garlic nicely on high flame for 2 minutes. Now add green chilies, cook it for a minute. Once ginger, garlic and green chilies are nicely cooked, add the onions. Cook it for a minute. Now add green bell peppers and cook it for a minute. Stir it continuously. For Manchurian, we don't want our veggies to be soft. We want to retain the crispy and crunchy texture of the veggies. That's why we are cooking them on a high flame for a minute or two only. We should not overcook the veggies. Also, you can adjust the quantity of veggies as per your taste. Add some salt for the veggies. Don't add too much as the sauce and Manchurian balls also have some salt in them. Add 1 4th teaspoon of black pepper powder or adjust it as per your taste. Mix it well. Now add the prepared sauce mix and mix it really well. Now add water. We are adding about 3 4th cup of water here. Bring this water to a boil. Now add the cornstarch slurry that we have prepared. The cornstarch slurry will thicken the sauce immediately. After adding the slurry, if you feel that the gravy is too thick, you can add little bit of more water. We are adding some more soya sauce here as the Manchurian gravy looks best when the color of the gravy is bright. However, you can adjust the flavor of soya sauce as per your taste. Bring this gravy to a boil. So our Manchurian gravy is boiling now and you can see what a beautiful and bright color it has got. Now reduce the flame to medium and add the Manchurian balls. Mix the Manchurian balls nicely with the gravy. After adding the Manchurian balls, the gravy will thicken more as Manchurian balls will absorb the water in the gravy. Cook it for a minute or two. Our crispy veg Manchurian is cooked nicely and you can see that how delicious it is looking. Now garnish this veg Manchurian with some spring onions on top and serve it. So friends, we have served the veg Manchurian and you can see that how delicious and tempting it is looking. This veg Manchurian really tastes very delicious. You can enjoy it as a breakfast, snack, appetizer or starter with a meal and it tastes super delicious. So enjoy this yummy and tempting veg manchurian with your family and friends.
This is a favorite with the kids. They love it. While serving, we can garnish with some spring onions on top. The spring onions adds a crunchy texture and flavor to veg manchurian. Friends, to get simple, easy, and authentic recipes, please hit the subscribe button to subscribe Big Foodies for many more delicious recipes and hit the bell icon to get the notifications about new recipes. And don't forget to like and share this video. Please share your experience with us in the comments as it really motivates me to keep exploring, learning and improving my recipes. Friends, if you want to watch Big Foodies recipes in Hindi, then please visit and subscribe to Big Foodies Hindi channel for recipes in Hindi language. The link is given here. Thank you so much for watching.